Arendse, hy uh, reis in de Federated Board of Home Unions in Paal District Union and in the Club Wellington uh, Pigeon Club. Yes, I reside actually in Newton, between Wellington and Paul. Well, it started when I was 12 years old, uh, seeing my father busy with the birds and uh, the dahlias and plants. Uh, I took interest in the birds and it was quite a nice hobby for me. Uh, my sister raced before that with my father since 1965, I think. So when she went uh, to study, um, he was on his own. And so I needed to give him a hand. And like I said, that's where the interest started. And I went on my own in 1991. I started racing as, as William Arendse or Arendse Loft. beginning years it was quite difficult because uh, we wasn't actually compete competitive uh, on the shorts uh, but from Beaufort onwards uh, we had a family of birds that yo, was devastating. Uh, Springfontein I think we ended in 1982 uh, we ended uh, third in the car clocking three car birds was, uh, in the top 20 places and missing the last uh, race the Kimberley board not carring that bird and that bird scored sixth board so yeah uh, we've had our ups and downs but uh, our family of birds have always kept us uh, kept us competitive he started in the uh, mid 60s, I think, and my sister started with him in 67, and she she raced the team for two years, I think. Uh, I heard about them uh, basketing in Paul and racing on the train, but I think when they were talking, they basketed by Umdirk in Paul and the truck came to pick up the birds. That was in the late 60s. I was only born 70. Oh. <laughs> well, the, my father actually had a, a love for the Stazards, so that was why we were competitive on the distance and the patteries uh, and we had the Hoesens. I think we drove through to Easterfield or Yalsis River in 82 to go and buy there from uh, Nikurabi. Uh, yeah, because he, he sold birds, he had the stock there and uh, the Hoesens we bought there, the Spangles and so on and uh, they really did the trick. Oh no, the Stazards were the main strain and the Bon Blue Stazards we got from uh, Mr. Roykop Swanapu in Paul, uh, originating from France here in the Strand. There is a bit of that blood still in, I think, because uh, that's the main strain that came through. And uh, I added on birds when I took over in 1991. Uh, I brought in the Van Engelaars and I brought in the, the Bouchards and so on to test them and see if they could do what the old family did and uh, to be competitive on the shorts. The, the main birds I brought in in 1995 when I got the Hollanders from Mr. Bernie Bullock and Ben Van Royen and Hugh Langtry. And then I started racing from Lanesburg and Tauze River. I think I won a Tauze River 1 to 5 in the club uh, with that bird. Then I brought in the, the clucks also uh, doing good on the shorts. I 
I usually look at where I'm struggling and then I phone one or two of my friends and I tell them listen here I'm struggling with the velocities above 1500 especially between the distance uh, say 350 and 500 and that is the birds no matter what strain it is that is the bird I can eat so if I'm struggling on the distance I go look for the distance birds if I struggle on hot weather I, I look at the birds that can handle that so I don't go after a specific strain but after the performance and that can add on to my birds. New beginners, uh, they don't understand the effort that you put in. Because if you race, you must race the whole season and then you must look at what velocity, uh, velocities you flew okay and then you see okay i struggled on the shorts so i need to improve there and then you go and look for birds that can race that distance on that velocities because next year you get different weather different winds and your old family just comes through again and the new birds didn't do the trick because you wasn't racing that velocities or velocities okay Yeah, because every year you get different birds actually uh, flying in front because of the change of weather, the winds and the velocities. must test them I usually test them with my best family doing that velocities okay and then I take them out and I try to line breed the new family and if they can't uh, keep up or give me the re uh, required results then I just eliminate them again. there's lots of birds that came in here and actually didn't do the trick so it's a long process it's not you buy or you bring in a bird and immediate there's an impact i first crossbreed yeah i usually go middle with distance or distance on its own and short with middle to improve them to give them a bit of endurance if the weather changes and etc but like you know in the last couple of seasons uh, we don't race that harsh weathers anymore protein mix like they say one season where I only gave them uh, pellets and peas okay and well the birds only flew to about 500 kilometers and the babies didn't want to race any further so I thought no man I like to test something on my own to see what the result is and I went back to my maize and stuff uh, added on in the morning I give a bit of chick mixture added with my uh, uh, feed and in the evening I give them the, the maize uh, about 10-20% uh, ratio okay, in the morning I give them uh, that uh, chick mix together with the feed and protein at the evening I give them a, a breeding mix where, uh, where there is uh, 
maize and stuff. So they need that to fly on the distance, that's my philosophy. I give about a ration of 20-25% in the evening meal. But I add a bit of uh, mung beans, a bit of uh, lentils, safflower, uh, sunflower, maple peas, peas and uh, carrots. In the morning I give them a, a mixture of uh, a chopped maize together with their breeding mix but no uh, whole maize in there and consisting of peas, a bit of lentils, a bit of uh, mung beans, safflower seeds and that's basically the mixture and in the evening they get the whole maize together at about a ration of 20-25%. My stock birds, uh, I don't like to medicate them. Actually, I do as little as possible. But when they uh, go on breeding, I use the Ronfried uh, natural products, uh, which I give them once a month uh, to treat a bit of salmonella and cancer and so on. And otherwise I give natural stuff. I give a bit of vitamins once a week, uh, a bit of iron, tonic once every second week, and a bit of probiotics. And I, I feel that's more than enough because they have to get uh, the nutrition from the feed. Now I look at them when uh, I give them their feed to see if uh, the babies are eating and when they are eating I feel okay they can go to the race loft now because I think every bird differs and they mature at a different age I, said I give them the Ronfried products uh, and I put them on a five day uh, where I add every, every day and so on in the water and they carry on and they are healthy. No antibiotics and canker, medicines and so on. Well, when they stop uh, racing, I give them uh, a bit of the pigeon tea to cleanse them uh, and then they go on the same treatment as my stockbirds till the 1st of January or the end of December and then from the 1st of January I try to give them uh, or get them on my molting stuff where I give them a bit of pigeon tea once a week, a uh, bit of vitamins, pre mold and so on and I change the feed mix there to uh, a bit more uh, peas to add on the protein needed for the feathering. And my birds get open loft, the uh, earrings all year till about 1st of April when I start training them again. But the medication there, part of uh, Primo, uh, bit of iron tonic, probiotics I love, and my pigeon teas. And the same Ron Fried products <laughs> once every fourth week. I use a few of them uh, every dress, Usnikano. It's all natural. I try to, to go natural. Go on a program uh, which give where I give on a Monday the exact same thing 
till the end of the season. If I give my vitamin on a Monday, I give them the whole season. I use my Ronfried products, they get the Ronfried products every week. Uh, when I miss the clock, say two or three weeks in a row, I would definitely go to treat them with an uh, antibiotic if I can uh, pinpoint a problem. But the natural products from Ronfried is, is, is very good. I used in the late 90s, I used the Bernie Bullock Swat Water. There were two different ones. Uh, one we gave on the, on the board races, uh, and the other one every week. So we, I didn't treat uh, my birds like the other guys like doing. And then I changed because. Uh, Every format the product a seven in one and I think they changed it to eleven in one. And I use that product. I try to keep it as easy as possible. Uh, and then they couldn't import it anymore and I got hold of this Ronfried stuff. That was about 2010. And I've been using it since. And I think I get a bit of results, so I won't actually want to change. must give medicine if needed but like I said the pigeon sport is a 365 day sport so I look after them 365 days so when there's a problem I would address it but some of the guys neglect the pigeons and then they have to go to antibiotics to get them back on track The Ronfried products I use is Sedacol, Evidress, Atom Freya, and Usnigano. It's all natural. And that's from the beginning of the season till the end of the season. Unless there is a certain problem when I am uh, needed to use antibiotics. And when I use antibiotics, I can see an immediate effect. But the problem is, I don't use it every week and that is where some guys uh, lose it a bit because once they give a product and they get the results they are going with it every week and I think that is definitely a problem. The Ronfried products uh, keeps them healthy because it addresses the different problems in the birds uh, like canker, uh, coccidiosis, uh, E. coli, salmonella paratyphoid uh, and uh, it cleanses the birds, the liver and it assists with the respiratory problems if they is any. I, uh, the racing team usually land on a depurative Saturday and Sunday and on a Monday I still start giving them uh, high protein and to the end of the week I uh, change it to a carbo uh, depending on the distance so if it's on a short distance I would go one or two days with a carbo but like uh, we're racing now with Bloemfontein I went with a carbo the whole week my own food. I've been doing that since I think 2005 already. According to the distance, yes. Not weather. 
I try and work out the, the hours on the wing and I try to give them the petrol uh, for that distance. I actually have a bit of a heavy hand, so on the shorts I'm struggling because I like to feed my birds and you can, most of the time, you can see the guys doing quite well on the shorts are struggling at the back. So the balance need to be quite, quite, quite good to start from the beginning and be competitive at the end. I give them a bit of protein and a bit of safflower in the mix. I add a bit of fat seeds like uh, safflower and so on. And when the distance or the distance races start, uh, I usually add the chaffet of round three, oregano chaffet. So I think that's a very good product of the distance. I use it on hot weather, cold weather, any type of weather. When it's a distance race, and that's why I'm struggling if we hit the velocities of about 1800, 1700, because the bird has a bit too much uh, weight. Well, I've been racing with my father since 82. I went on my own in 91, and I stopped the racing. I actually sold all my birds in 2015 and yeah I had quite a lot of achievements winning the Sp Springfontein FB board 1992 only bird on the day going second ball board uh, ending third in the car ending fifth in the car uh, winning a few federations winning a few board races so yeah, there's so many achievements over the years. I think this, the special one standing out is winning the car in 1998 and ending third in the board. Uh, then we were still about 820 members. I, uh, I clocked the two car birds uh, Sunday morning from Kimberley at uh, 23 minutes past five and 28 minutes past five. Uh, so yeah, that was quite uh, good achievements for me. And then I think in 20, 2011, I ended second after Mr. Murat in every competition after the, uh, in the board. Uh, single bird championship, all bird championships. So yeah, I've uh, never been board champion, but many second, thirds, fourth, fifths over the years and uh, I'm grateful for the God for blessing me uh, with those achievements. I don't think I wanted anything more. I'm satisfied with what I've achieved and since coming back I've been union champion. I've been, I've been club champion in Wellington for oh. three years. I was not champion. I ended up second twice beaten by Dennis Perens and once beaten by Henk Lochner. But the other years I was champion in Wellington. That's since 1996. So, uh, yeah. And then obviously winning the car in 2021 again. With the uh, cock giving me so much pleasure. This year, the race winning the car, uh, going first board, uh, I think 8, 4, 18, 4, 24, 29, and the first bird winning the board, I think 5,000, some of the birds. My second bird going second in the 100 grand wings of the board, my third bird going second in the Pinia of Sail, and my first bird winning the car. And that was on that Oak Town race? On the same Oak Town race. 
parallel. But the same I can say about last year's final race. So in first, third, eighth, again, five and a half thousand. So yeah, actually every race, if I see my birds dropping, get them home, that's most enjoyable. Yeah, actually I was preparing that bird, but I didn't uh, go out to win the car and I told myself I'm gonna win the car. It's like I was normally preparing the birds, I spoke to him a bit and told him everything is depending on him and uh, well I was uh, quite excited uh, when he arrived as he was always uh, one of my front runners. And uh, if you look at the guys that was all in the run, if you look at the Terry Kutz and you look at the Stan Williams and so on, uh, you knew the competition was going to be stiff. But luckily for me, the, the, the bird pulled it through. I wanted to end top three at least, as I was lying seventh. So I, I got myself a car two weeks before the car race, or the final leg of the car race. So, yeah, they told me, no, we're going to give you something special. <laughs> yeah, that, that's for the love of the game. Well, it's from my old line of birds. And the same, uh, the hen producing the car winner is the same hen producing the board winner on that day. She also produced a second truck, I think 2018, a fifth truck, a ninth board on the Tienison. Uh, so that pair has bred me quite a few good ones. Uh, I can elaborate on the, the birds. Uh, the cock winning the car, his half sister won the board on the same day. The same father uh, breeding the board winner and breeding the car winner. The cock with the, the board winner also produced second truck, fifth Kennard board this year, fifth Victoria West truck, so that pair is breeding good ones. But the mother of the car winner is my Gabby Cross Hen, and she produced the second best bird in the board 2020. She produced the fourth best long distance vision in the board uh, 2019 I think and she's the mother of my car winner so it's a brilliant cross I got there yeah all I can say is go to the top fans here that is willing to help you and feel free to ask questions uh, and Unfortunately, you have to spend a bit of money to acquire from his best.